I'll post something uh, probably more hits oriented. I know there's a couple top products out there that are most it's mostly autograph and relic based, but I'll find something like that and put it on there and we'll do like a random wrestler break for it. I assume their checklists are probably about 50 to 60 deep. So we'll try something like that and see how it goes. I mean, I'm willing to try it. Well, certainly you'll get a card. You'll get some cards this weekend, Woody. I certainly hope so. Well, alrighty. It looks like it is 5:45, so it's time for our 2018-2019 Panini Court Kings Basketball Random Player One Box Break Number One. Just like with all of our random player breaks, we'll list everyone in random.org in the order of which they purchase their spots. We'll randomize that list five times and then match that up against an alphabetical player list from the product. Good luck, everybody. Once. Twice. Three times. Four and lucky number five. All right, we've got a Castile 28 at the top. And we've got Trade Champ 1985 in the bottom. So we'll just match that up against our alphabetical player list. I'm going to cut and paste these over to the right and sort by everybody's eBay IDs just to make it a little simpler as we scroll through the list. All right. Well, I'll post, I'll post a wrestling break. I've got a couple NASCAR breaks posted in our eBay store. It just takes a while to sell them out. Not everybody's into that. Oops. Wrong thing there. And doing random driver in racing is a little difficult because it's such a shallow checklist. For example, I've got a couple of National Treasure Breaks listed from like 16 and 17, and they're like $7 a spot because there's, you know, the checklist is 70 deep. So that's kind of one of the issues with racing. I mean, I certainly don't mind doing it. I just, it's, the spots are so much, and I feel like that prices people out of them, and maybe I'm wrong on that. But I've run a few on eBay over the last couple of years, and they're pretty slow. Although what's funny is I'm a, you know, I grew up in the South and, and grew up on NASCAR and am a big fan of it and like a lot of the cards. I just haven't had much success with doing breaks with them. Hey, Comanche. But I've got a, I've, I think I've got like a, a Panini Prime break and I've got a couple of National Treasure Racing breaks in the store. I think one of them's down to like 26 spots. You know, I wouldn't mind looking at UFC either. 
Honestly, I've never looked at one of their checklists, so I don't know how many fighters they put on a regular, you know, for something like a museum collection or something a little more hit oriented. I wonder how many fighters they have on their checklist. I'm guessing it's probably 50 deep, maybe 60. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this one too. I'm glad with, it seems like basketball, some of our older basketball breaks have been selling out recently, so that's really nice. Dan Issel, I believe Dan Issel's a Hall of Famer, played for the Kentucky Colonels back in the ABA and then spent the latter part of his, his career with the Denver Nuggets in the 80s uh, when they wore beautiful uniforms, the nice rainbow skyline jerseys back in the early 80s and they used to score 155 points on opponents. back when the NBA was tough. Yep, different game today, a little different. Alrighty. Let's turn into our box and see what we get. Good luck, everybody. There's our pack. Sit that right there. First card, Joe Harris.
Our second card is Brandon Ingram. Our third card is Zach Levine. Our next card is Russell Westbrook from the Renaissance Men insert. Our next card is Hakeem Olajuwon, Points in the Paint. And our autograph card, or one of our autograph cards, is Michael Thompson, Impressionist Inc. And that is serial numbered 88 of 149. And then our second autograph, speaking of the 1980s Nuggets, Fat Lever and the beautiful and often highly underrated early 80s Denver Nuggets jersey. And that is serial numbered 95 of 149. Let's see, our next card is Chris Dunn, and that is a red foil parallel. Seems very fitting to go well with the Bulls colors. Let's see if that's serial numbered. Oh, and that is serial numbered 35 of 99. And our first rookie card is Kevin Knox. And that is a level three. I think the rookie cards in this, they have four different variations. So they're in four tiers. So this is a tier three Kevin Knox. And then our last rookie card in the box is Jerome Robinson. And that is a tier two rookie card. Alrighty, so let's go through our list and see who got which cards. We'll start with our base cards. Our Zach Levine goes to Clenor 1987. Congrats on that. Our Brandon Ingram goes to My Things for Sale 2010. Congrats on that. Our Joe Harris goes to D Hill 715. Congrats on that. And then our Hakeem Olajuwon points in the paint insert goes to Mecco Zero. Congrats on that. And then our Russell Westbrook Renaissance Man insert goes to Williams Nick. Congrats on that. And then our Chris Dunn Red Parallel to 99 goes to just 6059. Congrats on that. And then our Jerome Robinson Level 2 Parallel 
goes to you collect for you congratulations on that and then our kevin knox level three rookie goes to you collect for you doubling up how about that and then our fat lever autograph out of 149 goes to Arwick 27. Congrats on that. And then our Michael Thompson Impressionist Ink autograph out of 199 goes to Meko Zero. Doubling up. Congratulations on that. All right. Well, that, uh, that concludes our 2018-2019 Panini Court Kings Basketball Random Player Win Box Break number one. Thanks to all of you that bought spots in the break. As always, we appreciate you all supporting our breaks. Thanks for your patience. I know this one took a while to sell out, so we appreciate that. And uh, we'll be back here in about three minutes with our 2020 Inception Random Player Win Box Break number three. Thanks again, everybody.